is uh, it regulator belongs to Amtrak of Maryland. Pulled it in here in the barn yesterday because it was down on the siding. They wanted to uh, make some room down there on the siding. So Amtrak's coming to get it. Big 28 inch wheels. Nice. Look what we got here. You got me running like a Detroit diesel. Hmm. <laughs> Our regulator has a John Deere engine in it. Okay. I got a train dumping off. As soon as the train gets dumped off, then uh, we're going to head out in the tamper, but... Okay, very good. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Single seat. Well, I said it's really dirty in there. I don't think the cab sealed too well. But uh, this is a KBR, a Knox Kershaw KBR 850 model ballast regulator. Anyway, uh, this has a four speed transmission. Uh, some of the uh, later models of the 850 have a six speed transmission, like the uh, KBR 925s do. That's forward or reverse. And those are your gears up there. And these control all your plows and your wings and your broom in the back, service brake, and your throttle. About that. There's your air conditioner and heater. I would imagine that limit switch there is for a uh, backup alarm, I would assume. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. This is railroad stuff. Well, good morning, and welcome. Glad to have you with us. Monday morning here, I uh, had an oil leak on my lift cylinder. They're developed last week. The work hand lift cylinder, the cylinder to fix that up and down. Uh, the mechanic worked on it this Thank morning, you. and they uh, hopefully we got it fixed. The o there was an O-ring. When he took the old fitting out, it was uh, pretty well boogered up. So hopefully that'll get that fixed. Anyway, we're uh, heading on track here. I got a train dumped off and uh, one of the Johnstown America Corporation cars, the JAX cars, J-A-X cars, uh, developed a problem with the uh, door linkage. So they are currently down there pulling that car out to put it in the shop and uh, put another repaired car back in. How about that? I had told you guys there a couple videos, several videos ago, that uh, we are represented by the United Migrant Workers of America. Uh, contract is expiring, and uh, we are currently working under a and a contract extension. Uh, we've had a meeting with the. Uh, okay, 
International Union. Uh, the International Union is negotiating our contract with the uh, big cheeses here Thank at the buddy. company. Um, so I don't know, uh, a contract extension runs out here in two weeks and we'll see what happens. What I can tell you definitely, and I've been through a whole lot of contracts uh, here since 1977, one thing that definitely happens is rumors. <laughs> Always rumors. And uh, we're not going to repeat any of the rumors. I'm not going to tell you anything about what is going on with the contract negotiations currently, other than they are the company and the International Union are negotiating. So we'll see what happens. Again, it's not anybody's best interest that I read that I say any details about what's going on. So that's where we're at on the contract. And then uh, we'll see what happens here in two weeks. Um, always, whatever contract that they do come up with has to be sent back to the members of our local to be voted on. And um, that's the way it works. Yeah. exactly the same profile. In other words, the shape of them, the flange and the wheel tread. Uh, when they are wheels are brand new, the uh, shapes, the profiles are all the same. But then they wear, they put them in a car, and uh, on a car, and uh, they wear at varying rates. Also, some of these wheels may have been on the car for two or three years, and some of them may have been on there for two or three months. So, obviously, for wear on a wheel that's been used for a longer period of time. So, the varying profiles on the wheels 
cause the different pitched sounds on the trains going through curves. How about that? And as that truck negotiating that curve, the uh, front wheel, let's say 95-151, the front wheel into the high rail, and that's steering the uh, trucks around through the curves. With that with that uh, flange digs into the rail head, that's what uh, produces most of your sound. pitch squealing sound like that hold on I got about three cards to go there Mr. B Operator is in the lead locomotive. There's no one back here, so he doesn't know where he's at. Anywhere in there will be, sir. And, uh, stop and wait further instructions. turn around I always turn around and look make sure that locomotive stop before I head out and get anywhere close to this mainline track right. got a uh, spring switch up here so we're gonna run through it and that red light up there tells the operator that the mainline track out here is occupied plus I give a uh, verbal communication to the train operator over the radio. Plus the office knows I am out here, going out here. Okay. All right, and then you always turn back and look, and make sure that uh, spring switch went back to where its home position is there. Those switch points come back, so uh, we don't want that. Make sure that's correct too. Always look. Always look. Okay. All right. Mr. B. Tamper is clear. Milepost one six point zero. Headed west. Clear milepost one six point zero. Headed west. Headed for. That was the train operator. He acknowledged. He can back up and start dumping. I'll call again here at the next uh, crossing. And, uh, we're on our way out to pay up some track today. How about that? There we go. It's railroad 